The Indianapolis 500. It's an enormous arena in which to compete, to bring all your skills, all your dedication. For me, as a driver, it's the race of a lifetime. And yet, even with all its prestige and all its glory, there's another race, another challenge that motivates me to be here. One in eight women in the US will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her lifetime. One in eight. If you take a moment and start counting the female members of your family, your friends, you get to eight so quickly and the prospects hit home. There have been nine female drivers who have qualified for the Indianapolis 500. Statistically, that's one of us that could be diagnosed with breast cancer too. In the three and a half hours, it typically takes me to drive the 500 miles on race day, around 90 new cases will be diagnosed in women in this country. And more than 200 women around the world will lose their fight with breast cancer. Despite those statistics, it's an exciting time in research and we are closer to the cures than ever before. The stigma has been torn down, awareness has been raised, silence has been made uncomfortable, and survivors have been given a voice. But there is still so much more work to do, and we can't afford to wait around for someone else to do it. This May, think of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway as a gladiatorial arena where we are taking the fight to cancer. The front straight represents the home stretch in pursuit of a promise. The famous yard of bricks is a starting block for future laboratories, treatment centers, and community outreach programs. The crowds in the stands are the communities we want to be able to help and serve. We want there to be more survivors who win this race. We want to be able to keep supporting those who are gaining ground. We want to honor those who have left a legacy. We have a promise to keep. I want to win this race.